let me see. I wanted to ask you now. You a actual comedian, so do you feel like are we are we getting too sensitive now, or is, should it be a line? Should it be certain things that we shouldn't say, or that you shouldn't be saying, or is it just like whoever get what? Well, I mean the the the, the art police is itself, you know, um, you know, you you can push the line. But even if you talking about you talk about rape or abuse, even if you're telling the worst jokes, you you gonna get tired of the crowd not liking you. So, you know, what I'm saying the, the art kind of polices itself. You know, because you you say in a weekend I do six shows a weekend. Like this weekend I'm at Chuckles, uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, Thursday through <laughs> stop shouting it out, uh, uh, sure. Thursday through Sunday. So, but after a while. You're going to get tired of the groans from the audience. You're going to get tired of, you know, you're not going to sell tickets. Ain't nobody going to come pay to see you to, to, to do, to talk about no horrible stuff. So comedians don't really need extra policing. You understand what I'm saying? Like the art police itself. If it ain't funny, people ain't going to come. You know, they just not going to show up or they going to walk out. So I think, you know, people going, you know, trying to, you know, uh, cap off comedians, there's no reason to. You know what I'm saying? It the, the game polices itself. The bad the bad apples quit. The people that's not good or don't know what they're doing, they're just not going to be funny. And you're going to get tired of getting booed. Ain't nobody going to book you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, mm -hmm. ain't no reason to cancel a comedian. The, the game is going to cancel that comedian. If the guy ain't funny, ain't nobody going to book him. Ain't nobody going to watch him. We talking right, because you saw me being funny. If you saw me just being whack. You probably, you probably wouldn't hit me. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, yeah. it, it, it polices itself. Like, there's no reason. And people are like, well, comedians shouldn't be. Comedians shouldn't be. We not out here. It's not like it used to be. It's not just niggas doing big shows, uh, getting heads, counting stacks. This shit is this shit tough. Even for the, the dudes who getting up on the Internet, this a hard-ass grind. People ain't just laughing, coming out, throwing money at you. This <laughs> This right. a hard grind. Even if you got a natural ability, you still have to go out six, seven nights a week and prove that ability to three or four hundred people. And and and, and, and think about three hundred you sitting in the audience. It ain't easy to convince a nigga that you good. So you know there ain't no cakewalk. He's sitting there with his drink, like stressed out, life fucked up, like nigga do it. <laughs> That ain't right. easy. That right. ain't easy. And you got to do that eight times, seven, eight times a week for two or three hundred people a night. That ain't easy. The, the game, ain't. we don't need no more police. <laughs> right, especially like with a black crowd just from man, my they, they niggas they come hard so ready to be like, this motherfucker. Man, they, they, hard enough, they hard enough already. They done went home from work, took a shower, <laughs> got dressed. Came back in squeaky clean. You know what I'm saying? They done drove there, got gas, stopped and got something to drink. They sit in their faces staring at you like, all right, start. You know? Mm -hmm. that's, <laughs> that's hard enough. <laughs> yeah. This, this ain't no – people think this shit easy, man. This shit ain't no cakewalk. You know, this ain't this ain't no cakewalk. Especially when you, when you start getting beyond – like, I've been doing it 20 years. Wow. And you get beyond – uh, just making people laugh, and you want to start telling people your story. Like when you listen to my set, you hearing you hearing me talk from my heart. <laughs> you ain't just hearing me tell jokes like uh, you know, uh, you know, knock knock, who's there? You hearing thoughts from my mind. You ain't just hearing me talk about side chicks or fat chicks or you know what I'm saying? It ain't no easy humor. If you watch my set again, it was <laughs> it was some hard <laughs> hard ass shit to talk about. That's from my heart. And uh, then I'm making funny. So, yeah, yeah, no, man, no, no. We, we don't need no police. <laughs> All right, Come, me you. you said what? No, no, okay, let me see. I wanted to ask you kind of off the, off the Will Smith question as a, as a comedian. Maybe have you experienced something like that? Or maybe you might have seen it from another comic. Have, have somebody no, in the crowd no, got that offended? I, to... I experienced it. I had um, man, maybe 13, 14 years ago, I had a guy walk up to me. He was heckling me on stage, and uh, a couple times, man. You know, when, when I was you know a younger comedian, and I had a few guys walk up to me on stage, or walk not up on stage, but like walk, or like go back and forth with me, right? 
And when people sitting with their family and friends, they're getting embarrassed. You roasting them. You know, I'm talking about him. I'm talking about his, his girl. I'm talking about the whole right. table. I'm going in, you know, white and black. So when a dude get embarrassed, he ready to fight. You know, I can see the look on his face. So I, look, I see the, you know, I look, I, I can see the look in his eye. Like, okay, yeah. I'm from, I'm from the streets. I know when a nigga ready. So I'm like, look, you know, I tell him why I still got the mic. If you walk up to me, I'm going to beat your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't going to be no easy victory. So everybody scream laughing. The comedian already told you he's going to whoop your ass. <laughs> right, clowning. See, Man. I done clowned you, I done roasted you, and, and I done promised you an ass whoop. So, you know what I'm saying? It's about to be all bad. So I'm looking over at the, you know, what 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 a what a uh, security at. I'm trying to make sure, like, before I wrap this set up, security somewhere new, you know, near, somebody I know somewhere near. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I try, sometimes I try to de-escalate it. You know, that, hey, man, everything good. You know, you could de-escalate it. But I came on stage a couple times and dudes beeline they way to me. You know what I'm saying? And maybe the security called them or, you know, I ain't never physically fought nobody. Uh, it never got that far. Uh, but it got close, you know. Um, you know, now I don't really, I'm older now, so I don't really let things get that far. If I feel attention or energy, I'll switch it away from them. You know, one or two jokes, try to let the, the bar staff handle it. And um, you know, just be just just go back to entertaining the whole crowd. It's different tactics you use to kind of you know take the air out of a room. Or, but I've seen comics that don't do that, that don't let up, that are still. I've seen dudes get swung on. I've seen dudes get grabbed. You know, I know dudes that got knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like I know stories that dudes just got straight up knocked out. So some some people don't be playing. Like you know, they didn't had a drink. They ain't ready for your shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They come there on some bullshit because, like, we yeah, used to go yeah. out to the club. It'd be dudes that come to the club you know, just to fight. I had a dude that was like, you know, sitting there like, you know, they're just looking for a reason. You know, they do be sitting there like, man, I'm just looking, and they just hoping you give them that reason to, to come up there and, and fight. Uh, but I had to remember, like, even though I came, you know, from the streets of the hood, that I'm a comedian. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no thug when I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a comedian, and when you start getting that reputation of thugging it, that people don't want to, they don't want to book you. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. want a comedian. People want a comedian. So, uh, like I saw the little Ti interview. What Ti? He went off on a girl or whatever, Lauren, whatever her name is, he, uh, in, in Atlanta, and he wasn't a comedian. He was going off like, "Oh, you got me fucked up," and this, 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 this. Yeah, but that's the street shit. When you grab a mic. And you and, uh, and you you performing under a comedic banner, you're saying I'm a comedian. So that means everything you say is supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be lighthearted, and it's supposed to make people smile or laugh. So right. when you stop making people smile or laugh, you're no longer a comedian. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. You're not being a comedian no more. You're being a regular person. So yeah. you know what I'm saying when I feel when I feel myself no longer being comedic, then I hang up the mic. You know. All right. Well, thank y'all. Good night. When I can't right. when I can't be funny no more. You know, when then it got to some like what you say, you know, when it goes like, oh, what you say? <laughs> then I'm, that's not me doing comedy. That's me getting ready to fight this man as a man on man. But if if I can stay comedic and be funny, then yeah, I, I, I'll keep going. But if it if it go left, man, I just walk off. But I just seen dudes get be drunk and just won't let up. The mm -hmm. the person drunk, the comedian drunk. <laughs> All bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit could go left real quick. 